Hello friends, this is Lady Flora and I was just at the playground with my little ones and I got the stroller here with my daughter in it and we had a lovely time at the playground but it is very hot. It's about 85 degrees, which is pretty warm. Um, but if you can get yourself a shade tree and just sit perfectly still underneath the shade tree, it's not so bad. <laughs> but we live very close to this park, so um, I'm walking home now, which is nice. It's about a 10 minute walk. Uh, and even though it's very, very hot, I would much rather walk this short distance than hop in the car. Uh, I'm gonna go off the path just to get some shade. Now I think I understand why there's so many oak trees all over Florida. Because I often wondered, what's so great about oak trees? You know, they're pretty, they're majestic, they're large, but they don't make any fruit. In fact, they tend to kill the grass underneath it and produce a lot of pollen and uh, acorns that hurt your feet when you try to walk barefoot. But they sure do make a lot of wonderful shade in the summer. Look how bright white that is back there. If you could just imagine hotness all back there. Hot, hot, very hot. But honestly, 85, I really can't complain. It's gonna probably get a lot hotter. And this is just June. Um, but I'm really thinking about getting a little blow up swimming pool. <laughs> a lot of our neighbors have the kind of, I don't know, big fancy version of the blow up swimming pool that has like a pump and everything. And from what I can tell, they just put it up in the summer and then they deflate it and put it away for the rest of the year. So I don't know if we're good that kind of swimming pool, but it would be really nice to have like a slightly larger kiddie pool for grown-ups to sit in <laughs> for these trips to the park. You can come home, make a smoothie. This guy doesn't mind. This guy seems to thrive on being hot and sweaty. So I guess he was born in the right state. All right, I gotta cross this bridge here. I call this bridge the Heron Bridge because I have seen many herons hanging out here. In fact, the other day, uh, I tried to film it for you guys, but there were about five uh, pink rosate spoonbills perched on the railings and five or four or whatever tricolored herons perched next to them, like every other bird. Like one was a spoonbill and then one was a tricolor, back and forth. It was really odd and really cool and beautiful. And I tried to film it for you guys, but as I got closer, they all started to fly away. And so when I finally did get close enough and turn my camera on, there were only two there and, and then it flew away. So it was really interesting though. I can't help but wonder if they were having some kind of meeting, some kind of heron meeting, maybe discussing the business of being a heron and uh, maybe talking about the river that's there. It's, it's like a little ditch, but I like to call it a river. Maybe they were talking about the fish supply or the frog supply, or maybe they were planning an event, or maybe they were having an event. Maybe they were having uh, some kind of dinner party, or I guess it was breakfast time, so. Maybe they were all having brunch together. Frog legs and sauteed minnows and um, fresh algae on the side. And uh, 
see, what would they drink for coffee? <laughs> Some kind of warm, caffeinated beverage. Ugh. I can't think about warm, caffeinated beverages right now. All I can think about is a smoothie. I'm gonna go home and make a smoothie with strawberries and blueberries that are partially frozen and hopefully there's some cherries in there too and uh, yeah it's gonna be awesome thank you for watching uh, I don't always talk about how hot it is um, but I do love to talk about nature and uh, I believe that going outside can have a positive impact on your life I know it has on mine so if you think so too I would love to have you comment like subscribe share and after you do that, go outside and have a sublime day.